In the last six months, I've spent over $10,000 on text and email expenses and signing up for all these different SMS providers that can integrate with High Level to do all this stuff for my business. You can see here, I've spent $6,900 on text expenses through High Level. And then you can see I also signed up for a iPhone texting service that plugs into high level level and spent over five grand on that. And that's not including all of the other services that I have signed up and tried to use across the last six months or so. And so what I want to do today, honestly, for my own sanity is I want to put together all the different options that you have for sending SMS, sending texts through high level and which one might be the best for you. So I've broken them down into three main buckets. I'm gonna go into each bucket, the pros and cons of each one of them. And then also at the end, I'm gonna break down what's gonna be the best one for you. If you don't know who I am, my name is Clay Lawrence, owner of reviewharvest.com. I make a little bit over $20,000 every month just helping local business owners get Google reviews and white labeling high level to do that. So you can see here, we're not even three months into the year, we've made $68,000 just from automating the process of requesting reviews for local business owners. And if you don't believe me, that's okay. Feel free to check out reviewharvest.com. You can see all of our testimonials, all the proof that we are a real business that does this. So obviously for requesting reviews from customers, text messaging is super important. Email is great, but we get about three or four times as many reviews from the text than we do as emails. Honestly, depending on the list, sometimes it's 10 times the amount of reviews from the text. So this phone number issue has been a huge issue for us. So before I dive into the three buckets and what might be the best option for you, I wanna rewind all the way back to the end of 2023 when I was first getting started with this business. Back in 2023, it was like the wild west. You could purchase a local number or toll-free number and you could start sending review requests day one. You don't have to get verified, no brand registration, no campaign registration, no toll-free verification. You didn't have to do any of that stuff. And then obviously in 2024, they made it to where local numbers and toll-free numbers now, you have to get approved before you can send texts. So really back in the day, it was like the wild west, but the good news is, is that this should keep texting as that dominant channel that we actually are able to reach people and get their attention and get them to take action. You know, email, you might get 30, 40% open rate if you're doing pretty good, but text messaging, people still pay attention to it. So in the long run, it's gonna be good that people aren't getting spammed constantly because they're making it harder to get these messages sent out. But in the short term for now, it really sucks. It's hard to adjust the way we do things to get these phone numbers. So how do we do it? So the tricky part with high level is that people use high level for so many different things, right? You might have an agency where you do $3,000 a month ret retainers. You might have a SaaS where you charge $99 a month for a bunch of features and stuff like that. And so depending on what you're doing, one of these is gonna make a lot more sense. But here's kind of the three main buckets they fall under. Number one, the most expensive route, is this trend of sending blue messages, right? Sending iMessages. And so there's lots of companies doing this now, send blue, high blue, all these other blue stuff, link, whatever. And it is pretty expensive for the most part. And so I'll dive into that here. The second bucket is CRM cards. So the most popular one here is my CRM SIM. They seem to be the best out of all those players there. And basically what you're doing is you're getting an Android phone, you're getting a SIM card and like a cheap, a cheap phone plan, and then you're plugging it in to a high level sub account. And technically you have unlimited messaging. It just depends on what SIM card you, you have and really like how high volume you're sending. And then the third thing is stuff that requires A2P 10 DLC compliance for the local numbers. And then also this goes into toll-free verification as well. Loop these in together because you have to do some sort of verification for these routes. So first let's dive into the iMessages, the SendBlue, all this little trend going on. So the great thing about it is there's no ATP verification required. So you're doing it on like actual iPhones. A lot of these companies have actual iPhones. Some of them don't really. The bad news is, is it's uh, pretty expensive. So it's literally like anywhere from 200, like a thousand dollars per line, it can be super expensive, but, and also you'll have a limited number of contacts that you can message per day. Because since you're going through iOS, iOS wants the messaging to seem normal as if you were a human, right? Not actually you're blasting automated messages and stuff like that. And so that's really difficult. You have to play by different rules. Like for example, for us, when we're requesting reviews, it wouldn't really work well because we send out the link in the very first message that we send to a contact, right? And so when you do that on iOS, what it does, is it really burns the phone number's reputation and it's not kind of best practice. It kind of would mess up the phone number. 
And so there's certain things that you kind of have to do differently when you're doing it through iOS because they play by different rules. The great thing about the Apple one is that there's actually no phone purchase necessary. So I haven't heard of any ones that are sending iMessages that require you to purchase an iPhone and plug it into your high level sub account. There might be one, but I haven't heard of one. The really cool thing is that it is kind of incredible. So when it works, it's really cool. So check this out. If we do hey, and we can send this with like confetti or loud or a slam or something like that. So it could really get the attention of, you know, say your leads or something. So if we wait for this to come through here in a second, when it comes through, it's gonna say, hey, and it's gonna bam. So let's check it out. You see a lot different than just a boring old green message that might have reply stop to opt out and all that stuff, right? It's a lot cooler. And so this really works well. Like the iPhone stuff I think works well when you're doing like higher retainers, you're doing lots of lead follow up. Uh, these are like higher end clients or expensive stuff. You're not just selling $20, $50, hundred dollar stuff this might make a lot of sense because you're probably gonna deal with a lot of iPhone users if you are selling high ticket stuff and so you can see you can do you can do confetti you can do the slam effect so it's really cool to get the attention of your prospects and kind of stand out from everyone else that's just doing the green iMessage follow-up stuff and what's even cooler is they have the option to send native voice memos and so the difficult thing is once again iOS is constantly changing stuff so now if I haven't responded here if you do try to send a voice memo before you've engaged with the contact, it's gonna pop up as like some weird file. It doesn't like look native like a voice memo does. But once you've had a conversation, then you can start sending voice memos natively, which is actually insane. And you can even use AI in 11 Labs to send an AI voice message. So the fifth thing is that it can be a little bit buggy and hard to use. So the integration into high level isn't necessarily complex. I've had some issues getting it connected, but once it's connected, it works fine. But sometimes when you're using it, it just like takes a long time for stuff to send. It's not quite as buttery as, you know, working with just the native phone numbers in high level once you get an A2P approved and stuff like that. And I really don't think this is for high volume and lower ticket stuff because like, for example, for us with review hearts, it really doesn't make sense. Like, like we, when we're sending out these review requests, we want to include the link in that first one. We're going to have to contact a lot of people. We're not charging 500, a thousand, two thousand dollars a month. So we, there's no way we can afford $200 per line per client because you cannot share these lines, right? You can't use one line and share it across 10 sub accounts unless technically you're doing the master sending account, which I have another video about that if you want to, but I just don't think it makes a lot of sense to do it that way. So the second thing is these Android phones and the SIM cards and using something like MyCRM SIM or one of these providers that allows you to integrate an Android into one of your high level sub accounts. So the great thing about this is no ATP verifications required. So if I have people in my community that are like, hey, I need, I, I got a client that signed up, they're ready to get reviews, like I wanna get them reviews today. The only really way to do that is like go to Walmart, get a SIM card, get a hundred dollar Android phone and start sending out texts right away. That's really the only way to do it, you know, because you have to, everything else has to be verified. And so that's one thing that's really nice about that. It's quick, you can get it set up pretty fast. It integrates with high level very seamlessly. Difficult thing, same thing with the Apple here. There's no calls. So you can't do the calling in high level. You can do the calls from the phone, the Android phone. I think you can, you might be able to forward the line for, for, for if you're using like SendBlue or something like that. I'm not sure. But same thing here, like no calls in high level. The calls aren't gonna come through in your high level dashboard. The thing that is nice is that this is actually pretty affordable. So based on your area, like if you are overseas, if you are not in the US where Twilio is relatively inexpensive and text messaging is inexpensive, if you're overseas, in Australia or if you are in, you know across the world this might be the best bet for you because you can just go get a local phone plan or whatever and it's gonna be more reasonably priced than like 12 cents per SMS or something ridiculous right and so that is something that's very nice about this um, the only thing that's you know kind of not great is you have you need to get an Android phone and so if you don't have an Android phone then you need to go buy one and then if you do have an Android phone I don't know what that looks like if you're using it on the same exact thing same exact phone that you're normally using I'll talk about this more later, but I think that this Android phone thing makes a lot of sense if you are like an agency that might do higher ticket stuff and you want to get them a verified phone number through high level, like an A2P verified phone number, but you want to start sending messages or review requests or database reactivation right away. Like you want to start sending text messages day one to get them some great results. Then I think what a lot of people are doing is they're using these SIM cards for my CRM SIM or they're using whatever. They're using it as the bridge until they can get a verified phone number. So it's like they might have five or 10 phones and when they're getting new clients, they have their very, very new clients 
on these plans and they're sending out review requests right away or database reactivation campaigns right away. And then as soon as the phone number is verified, they can transfer those off to a different sub account to their new client. So kind of using it as the bridge between new client and then a verified phone number. All right, the last one, and this is the doozy, this is the A2P uh, 10 DLC, just stands for application to person, 10 digit long code, I think that's what it is. And so I'm gonna kind of group, like I said, I'm gonna group toll-free numbers into here because you have to get them verified, but let's kind of go over your options. So your option number one is like directly through high level. So that's like lead connector is LC phone is powered by Twilio. It's all in high level native. So it's pretty much all the same thing. And so your option is you can go through here, you can jump through the hoops, high level makes you do to get it verified. I'm like go through the process, submit it, whatever. And then you can do SMS and calling through high level natively. So it's very buttery, very smooth. Uh, you just have to go through this process of getting it verified, which can be a pain, right? So, I mean, it's really not that bad to get an A2P number approved, a local number approved. When you're an agency that might be charging, you know, $500, a thousand dollars a month. But the difficult thing is when you're something like me that charges a hundred dollars a month or $200 a month or $300 a month, it's really difficult. And we need to start sending review requests right away. And so how are we supposed to have a phone number ready to rock and roll to get them review requests on day one that is also affordable. It also integrates with high level and it's easy to use. So the second option is you can go outside of high level. So you don't have to use Twilio. You don't have to use LC phone. The difficult thing with Twilio is that Twilio is like pretty much the most expensive. You know, it's like eight tenths of a cent for an SMS plus the carrier fee. SMS messages are two cents. Something like TextGrid and Signal House, you're going to be saving 50%, 60% of your costs just using TextGrid or Signal House because they're so much cheaper than what Twilio is. And so if you bypass kind of all the stuff that high level has you go through, you still have to get verified. Like, I mean, high level is honestly just making it pretty easy for you to get it verified. So I, I say bypass, like, like they're making you do harder stuff than normal. They're really not. They're just making it natively in there and you kind of have to deal with high level throughout the process. In my experience, the great thing with TextGrid and Signal House is we're a lot closer to the source. And so these people, when you actually contact support, they know exactly what to say. And they, they so, and Signal House even has a relationship with the DCAs, which I don't even know what that means. It just means that they're closer to like the, the SMS aggregators, right? They have a better relationship and stuff. And so actually when you submit your verification, they review it first and are like, hey, this is gonna get approved or not. And then once they're like, hey, it's gonna get approved, they kick it off. But if they're like, hey, it's not gonna get approved, they kick it back and tell you what to change. And so I think just support here is so much better. If you're struggling to get A2P approved, support here is so much better. And the great thing about text grading, why I think it's gonna be the best route for a lot of people doing like low ticket SaaS stuff through high level is that one, it natively integrates with high level. And so when I say native integration, like it's a couple clicks and it's pretty easy and it can be your custom SMS provider and it's super simple and it's way cheaper. And the great thing about text grid and signal house is that you can get your brand and campaign registered once and then you can get 49 numbers and you can attach those numbers to a, each number to a different sub account. So the tricky thing about when you're going directly through high level and Twilio is like with, with LC phone is that you need to get re verified independently in each sub account. So you can't use that brand and campaign registration across multiple sub accounts, right? And so when you're getting brand and campaign regist registered for like all your clients and you're doing it on your behalf. And so when you do get a brand and a campaign registered under your information, so example like us registering review harvest and getting campaign and brand approved there, there are some different things that you have to comply with. Because if we're sending text on behalf of our clients, but the campaign is registered to review harvest, there are certain things you have to do differently to make make sure that you're still compliant, like saying powered by review harvest or something somewhere, just letting people know. And so that's, you know, you can be as compliant as you want. It's not going to force you to do that, but that's just something to keep in mind. And Signal House doesn't quite have an integration with high level yet, but they're working on it. But once you do get integrated, which the integration process is, is pretty seamless, then you can do SMS through high level and it's, you know, do the, through the workflows and it's pretty buttery. And so the last way is you can go to like Telnix or Plivo, which are similar to Twilio. They're like, aggregators with the carriers, they have the relationship so they can send the messages and stuff like that. And then you can go to them and then you can use something like SMS it that has like a gateway where you can plug in and basically SMS it is gonna be the thing that's gonna allow you to integrate your Telnex number or your Plivo number with high level. This is you know adding an extra layer there so it's not the best, um, but if for some reason you wanna use one of these carriers or you need to use like one of these business, Telnex or Plivo, then that is an option. Don't use Telnex if you do have anything to do with marketing. They're not gonna get it approved. Had to learn that the hard way. All right, so now for the meat and potatoes. Now here's the question, what's the best for you? So I've kind of broken it down into what your business is, right? If you're an agency or if you're like a low ticket SaaS through high level, it's really gonna be different. And also it depends on your location, right? I think that if you are 
in a country where Twilio expenses or like SMS and MMS expenses are crazy high, like 15, 20 cents per message, I think that you really need to go the MyCRM SIM route. And so I honestly think that probably the most affordable way would be to go my CRM SIM, have like 10 different master sending accounts. So I have a video on how to create a master sending account. That's basically where you're sending all your text messages from like 20 different sub accounts into one sub account. And so you have like one sub account that has phone numbers and you just send all the information in there. So I think honestly, if you're overseas, you need to do this at a decent cost, then I would say my CRM SIM um, is that's just, that's just the best company that I have worked with and talked to, and they seem like kind of the, the top dog in there. There's a million other instant eight, a million other you know SIM, SIM cards that people that allow you to, I don't even know what that's called, SMS gateway, whatever, I don't know. But they allow you to connect an Android phone to a sub account to do the same thing, that's all it is. And so honestly, the best way if you're in a country that's really expensive is to do my CRM SIM, get like 10 different master sending accounts, and then you could send 100, 200 clients through those 10 sub accounts if you just split it up properly. Or if you're in a country that's really expensive, you could find another provider that gives you SMS and MMS at a better rate, or you could obviously use WhatsApp. WhatsApp kind of circumvents this whole process if people use WhatsApp in your country. But you could find another provider like a Twilio, TechScript, SignalHouse, whatever, that kind of focuses in your area, and then you could use a gateway to, I think it's a gate, that's what it's called, a gateway. You could use one of these like SMS it, or there's a couple other ones that will allow you to connect it to high level or will allow you to send that, that SMS through a webhook in the action. And so you have options there, you're just gonna have to get creative. But if you're in the US, I think that if you need calling, if calling is required, then like you probably could just use like my CRM SIM as a bridge until you get verified through high level. And this is like, this is once again, this is only if, you want to start doing stuff for your clients day one. If you're okay waiting a week to get an ATP number approved for them, that's fine. But if you like need to start sending stuff day one, in calling is going to be required eventually. I would do my CRM SIM because you can still answer the phone on the Android and stuff. I would do my CRM SIM and as the bridge until you get a local number verified through their sub account, and that that would kind of make sense the, the most sense financially if you're charging like over five hundred dollars a month per client. If you're charging like under $500 a month and you're like a SaaS and like no calling is really required, then I would recommend TechScript all day long. You can get one campaign where they have an integration into high level, one campaign, and then you can use that campaign for 49 different clients. It's in 49 different numbers. So that means that you get verified once and then you can use that across multiple different sub accounts. Once again, when you're doing it that way, there's a little bit different legality of like staying compliant and stuff when you're when, you, when it's all registered under your campaign, but it still just allows you to send it. You can be as compliant as you want or as not, not compliant as you want, right? And then if you are doing, let's say 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 dollar a month retainers and you're doing a lot of the lead follow-up, then I think the iPhone route would be sick and probably be well worth it. I think that lead follow-up for the next year or two the iPhone route is still gonna make a lot of sense. They are improving like RCS messaging, which is like rich context segments through Twilio and through these other SMS providers so that now we're gonna be able to have more dynamic messaging, more engaging messaging than just how it is right now where you just like send SMS, you don't have any options to add like features or stuff like that to it. So yeah, that's a quick breakdown over kind of all your phone number and messaging options through high level. If you live in a WhatsApp dominated country, you can just use WhatsApp, that's great. But if you, you know, need to send SMS, these are kind of your options. Spent way too much money and way too much time going into all this stuff. So I hope it saves you a little bit of time understanding how this works. And if any of the software or tools sound like they are right to you, check the link down below in the description. You'll find all my affiliate links down below. And if you made it this far, you're probably interested in making some semi-passive income with High Level. And that's exactly what we do in my community. So if you sign up to High Level with my link down below in the description as my affiliate or you upgrade to the next plan, uh, you'll get access to the school community. In here, I've got snapshots, I've got weekly coaching calls, up to three weekly coaching calls. And we're also adding a Facebook ads expert into the coaching call mix here soon so that he'll, you, you'll be able to hop on a call with him every single week and ask him about your Facebook ads and stuff like that. I don't hold anything back in here, so I'll give you everything you need to get your first 10, 15, 20, 100 clients selling reputation management through high level. And just to highlight a win here, you can see Frank joined 30 days ago. He already has 12 paying clients. He's going over kind of what he did to get his clients reviews, what he's doing to get more clients, all that stuff. So people are winning, people are having great success. So I'd love to see you in the community. And if you're already on the highest level of high level, you can sign up directly with the school link down below and just get direct access. If you watch this video, there's a good chance you're not subscribed. So I'd love for you to subscribe and like it. It really helps the algorithm and it helps me grow. 
and YouTube thinks that the next video would be good for you.